not. Coach line session. The Honorable Judge Tonja Alexander presiding. Alexander Murdoch. I see that we have representation from the Attorney General's office. Can you please state your name for the record, please? session. The Honorable Judge Tonja Alexander presiding. Alexander Murdoch. I see that we have representation from the Attorney General's office. Can you please state your name for the record, please? Yes, good afternoon, Your Honor. My name is Craig Warder, so with the South Carolina Attorney General's office, and with me is Megan Burkstead, also with that office. Thank you. And also, let's see that the defendant also has representation. Can you please state your name, please, for the record? Yes, Your Honor. May I remove my mask to address the court? Just to, to, to um, state your name, you have to put it back on after that. Yes, ma'am. Um, I'm Dick Harpootlian. This is Jim Griffin. We represent Mr. Murdoch. Okay, thank you. Thank you. The cases that we have before us today, Mr. Um, uh, Murdoch, is case number 2021-825101-00204, insurance, false statement misrepresentation, and case number 2021-825101-00206, conspiracy, and case number 2021-825101-00207, filing for a false police report of a felony violation, okay? I'm gonna read this information to you. It should be in front of you right now. Please follow along with me as I read it. We're gonna start with number two. Warner free rest will be issued violation for any condition of this bail about order. You have the right and obligation to be present at trial that trial will proceed in your absence if you fail to attend. Fair to appear in court as required may result in institution of additional criminal charges Fair to appear in connection with a felony or while waiting sentence after conviction carries additional penalty for not more than $5,000 of imprisonment for not more than five years or both. Fair to appear in connection with a charge for a misdemeanor who with a maximum possible sentence is at least one year carries additional penalty of not more than $1,000 of imprisonment for not more than one year or both. Fair to appear in court as required on any charge not specified above or result in issuance of a warrant to defendant's arrest as well as loss of post bond. You also have a right to a preliminary hearing. You have 10 days from the day to do so. You do that orally or in writing. 
You also have the right to a trial by jury. Once again, you're being charged with false statement, misimprisonment, first offense, you know, conspiracy, and filing a false police report of a felony violation. You also have the right to counsel and the right to a court appointed counsel if financially unable to employ counsel. Turn to the next place, please. If you're interested in a court appointed attorney, which I see you do have an attorney with you now, so we don't have to go over that, um, but you can if you want to. Um, get one appointed through the um, clerical office. Number seven, if the charge has been brought against you or this charge is dismissed or no cross, or if you're found not guilty, you may have your record expunged. You're also required to keep the court notified of any changes of address until a final disposition of this case. Turn to the next page. This is the notice uh, for right to a preliminary hearing. This is what I was telling you about earlier. If you're interested in a preliminary hearing, you must fill this out and have it back to our, um, to our office. The next page, information regarding your rights. Please listen, listen carefully. You are in charge with a criminal offense, and if you're found guilty, you are facing serious consequences, which may include a payment of a fine, loss of your driver's license, and a possibility of a jail sentence. In addition, you may face increased penalties for later convictions, the loss of your rights to possess firearms and ammunition, and your immigration status will be affected. You have important constitutional rights, including the right to representation by an attorney, but you may lose these rights or waive them if you do not act to protect these rights. You have the right to hire an attorney to represent you in every case. If you cannot afford an attorney, you may be eligible for a free attorney. If you want a determination made to whether you qualify for a free lawyer, then it is your obligation to be screened at the location identified in paragraph 5C of the bond checklist you receive after this hearing. If you do not hire an attorney or go to be screened, then you may be found to have waived your right to have an attorney at your trial. You also have the right to represent yourself. However, you should be aware that self-representation can be dangerous. For example, there will be certain factual legal defense to your charge that you're not aware of or legal issues related to conduct of trial or guilty plea that are determined how to preserve an appeal. If you exercise your right to proceed without a lawyer, then you will be comply with all applicable rules of court including rules of evidence, procedural rules, and proper behavior for the judge and or jury. You can on the charges filed against you and you want to pay a fine, you may request a reasonable schedule payment plan to pay that fine. <laughs> it is your obligation to keep up your trial date and to obtain an attorney either by hiring one or by being screened and found eligible for a court appointed attorney prior to your trial date. If you do not appear at your trial with an attorney, you may be deemed to have waived your right to have an attorney represent you. You're required to keep the court notified of any change of address until the completion of this case. Turn to the next page. In the event you are unable to employ counsel, the state will provide you with counsel by appointment or with the service of a defender of this county. If you desire the state provide you with counsel, you may make application for counsel unless you're not eligible under the order of the court. You may apply for counsel should you qualify at the clerical office in Hampton County located in the courthouse. Once again, it's a four dollar application fee. You do have the right to apply if you meet the requirements. And also you have the right to be present at trial, but if you're not there, then we'll proceed in your absence. Turn to the next page. You are hereby ordered to appear for roll call on October the 25th, 2021 at 2 p.m. I acknowledge and understand that I'm to appear for and attend the above scheduled roster meeting. Also understand it's my responsibility and condition my bond the hired attorney or apply for a public defender within 15 days of this order. Should I fail to pay, should I fear, fail to appear for roll call, a bench won't be issued for my arrest. If I fail to get an attorney within 15 days, my bond may be revoked. Understand there's a fee to pay the clerk or office for a public defender application, and that's my responsibility to pay the fee within 15 days of this notice. Understand that should I fail to meet any condition of my bond, the court will issue a bench warrant for my arrest and has the authority to revoke my bond. Before I set Mr. Murdoch's bond, do I have any? Do you have anything to say from the attorney general's office? Uh, yes, uh, ma'am, your honor. Thank you. Um, I believe there's a few conditions that we would ask for that the uh, defense uh, would probably not object to. Uh, the first one of those is surrendering the passport. I believe they have bought, bought his passport here. We would ask it be surrendered to SLED uh, for them to keep it in 
their custody. Uh, the second thing is, is we would like for a bond requirement that we sign a waiver of extradition. Uh, it is my understanding that uh, they tend, uh, that they plan for uh, Mr. Murdoch to uh, be um, returned to a rehab out of state. And for that, we would request that waiver of extradition. Uh, finally, I think there's a few uh, matters that we would um, uh, disagree on. Uh, Your Honor, at this time, uh, we would request uh, $100,000 surety as well as GPS. Um, Your Honor, the reason for that, he has no prior record. Uh, however, while the charges here under the law are not violent, the underlying facts are violent. Uh, they indicated uh, at least allegedly an intent to harm oneself, and that makes that person not only a danger to themselves, but that enhances the danger to the community in that regard. Uh, and it, indeed, they also involve conspiracy, and that means working with others for criminal activity. So I think that enhances the danger to the community. Uh, also, since he is going out of state, I think that does raise a concern of a flight risk. Uh, he um, was at one rehab and will be going to a rehab in a different state. And again, uh, he obviously has the resources to pay for these out-of-state inpatient rehab. I think that uh, for that reason, uh, GPS would be appropriate, Your Honor. And again, if after 30 to 60 days, if he has done fine on GPS, I'm sure I can speak with Mr. Harkoulian or he can file whatever motion he wishes to file. But I think in this instance, it is appropriate that we have that GPS. I've seen these type of cases before, and sometimes those who had everything and who are suffering a possible fall from grace are actually more of a concern than a hardened criminal who's been in the situation before. For that reason, we would ask for that surety bond and the GPS. Ma'am, we're going to mask on. I think I speak clearly enough with the mask on to make myself understood. Uh, Your Honor, um, Alec Murdoch has spent his entire life in this county. No prior record. Uh, actually involved in all aspects of this community. Uh, and up until uh, this charge, um, had no blemish on his character whatsoever. Um, he has, and we would concede, a significant, has had a significant opioid addiction, which has led him into uh, some financial issues and uh, there's no question um, into this situation where he finds himself charged. Um, let, let, me, let me make a couple points. Um, first of all, this crime, this crime involved his attempt to have himself shot so his son could collect insurance money. Um, the only violence he's ever been involved in is this, which was to have himself executed. So he's not a danger to the community. The only person he's a danger to is himself. He um, immediately uh, surrendered, he immediately went to rehab after this incident. As soon as he got out of the hospital, he was shot in the back of the head. A bullet uh, didn't actually penetrate his skull, went in with an entrance and exit wound. Um, he may have had a minor skull fracture and some minor bleeding on the brain. As soon as he released, he went to detox, I'm sorry, uh, and he was there for almost a week before he was ready to go to rehab. Unfortunately, the place he was at did not have a bed, and so we had to find him another bed. In terms of his financial resources, he is, um, this is being paid for by insurance, not out of his pocket. Uh, and I can tell you as a result of uh, the recent events, he is not a man of significant means anymore. Um, everything he owns is basically leaned up. Um, we would surrender uh, his passport to sweat. I brought it here today. Your Honor, I'd like to hand up to the court a letter. I don't want to publish it um, and for the location of the, re the uh, rehabilitation facility for obvious reasons. We have tremendous media interest in this and we don't, certainly don't want them showing up. And I think it explains that the doctor believes uh, he can benefit from this and he only let him come up here if he came up this morning he needs to go back this afternoon to not get kicked out of the facility 17-15-10 um, um, which is the, the, the statute governing bond says he's entitled to a personal recognizance bond unless it's shown he's a danger to the fleet he has come here today on his own he did not flee he did not once he knew he was charged 
Um, he is willing to waive extradition to come back whenever he is needed here. Um, and uh, again, everything, every member of family, uh, his connections are to this county. He's got nowhere to go. We've given, uh, we're giving the passport to Swed. He can't, he doesn't have the financial means to, to leave the country, nor will he have a passport to leave the country. Um, Your Honor, he has had a tremendous opioid addiction. The death of his wife and son have put him over the edge in terms of that addiction, and that is why one of the major reasons he was considering having himself killed. The, the other thing I would say is this. There's no evidence of danger to, danger to the community or uh, evidence that he would flee the jurisdiction to avoid prosecution. He, and the way these charges came about is that Mr. Griffin and I visited him at the detox facility on Monday of this week. <clears throat> he indicated he wanted to tell the truth. And I think Swade will affirm that they were expecting to show up down there and show him a lineup. They're investigating a drive-by shooting. When he and we decided he should call Sweat, we asked him to record the conversation, in which he detailed every element of what he is charged with today. Total cooperation. Gave him the name. Told him about the gun. Told him about the knife. Um, and we believe uh, was totally uh, honest and forth forthright with them. So. He himself has put himself in this by what he did to begin with, but is attempting to make amends by being truthful. He wants to cooperate with law enforcement. He's cooperated to the extent he can cooperate given his current mental and physical condition and as he gets when he gets out of rehab. And by the way, we're more than willing to, to uh, have the facility required to notify us and or SWED uh, if he leaves the facility, we can do that. Um, so that if he's not there uh, and hasn't gotten court permission to leave there, uh, he would be in violation of your bond order. But Your Honor, um, it, 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 as Mr. Waters indicated, uh, he has fallen from grace. It has been a tremendous, uh, I mean, but before any of that falling happened, his wife and son were brutally murdered. Um, and that has had an extraordinary effect um, on him. So we'd ask you to allow him to go and help heal himself. A surety bond is not needed in this case, and as a practical matter, his financial condition is ruinous. Uh, so we'd ask you to allow him out on his own recognizance, 171510 would indicate and allow him to go to rehab, allow and, and of course mandate rehab, the rehab facility, notify the court and or SWED uh, if he leaves. And if he completes uh, his treatment there, when he completes his treatment there, uh, we'd ask to be ask them to notify us so we then can coordinate with Sweat in the Attorney General's office on where he's to go next, whether he should come back here or whether he can go should go somewhere else. But this is this is a twenty year addiction. This is not this is something he's struggling with every day. Um, and if anyone uh, wants to see the face of what opioid addiction does, you're looking at it. This, this, uh, this is a horrible, horrible disease. So, Your Honor, I'd be happy to answer any questions if you have any questions. Thank you, Your Honor. Happy to hear both of us. Um, I don't feel that Mr. Murdoch is going to be a risk to the community. Um, I do, however, uh, do want him to surrender his passport um, and the waiver of extradition will have that in place. Um, so with that being said, with the insurance false statement, misprisonment, I mean misrepresentation, I'm sorry, I'm going to set his bond at $10,000, and that's going to be a personal reconnaissance bond. And on the conspiracy, I'm going to set it at $5,000, personal reconnaissance bond, and report filing a false police report, um, $5,000 personal reconnaissance bond. His total bond is going to be $20,000, personal reconnaissance. And that's going to be the order of the court. If he does leave the um, facility, if he leaves the facility without any permission, your bond will be re re revoked and it will be a bench warrant for your arrest. Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. That will be the order of the court. I need to sign these papers.
point handing this passport to Sweat for the record.
the only problem. Okay.
Thank you.